gotta get my fans to know that they dig them up. Even though these are the same, I'm thinking about Trey, I'm gonna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles 2K coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, we back on 2K25. And I'm about to show y'all boys a brand new VC method that you guys can do after all the most recent patches and updates. Also, before today's video does start, make sure that you guys do drop a like on today's video. And when you guys are subscribing to the channel, make sure that you guys are turning on post notifications so you guys do not miss any videos from me in the future. Also, the winner of our last VC giveaway is going to be on the screen right now. So what I need you to do is hit me up on any type of social media platform that will be in the description of today's video within 24 hours i need you to tell me what platform that you guys are on so i can get you your vc but with that being said you guys know how we do it over here on this channel as long as i'm posting 2k i will be always giving back to you guys so if you guys are not winning this giveaway we have a new one going on in the pan comment down below it's the same thing the only thing you guys have to do is follow all those steps for a chance to automatically win but with all that being said out of the way let's go ahead and get started with today's video so to start out today's video what you guys basically are going to do is uh from your settings or your dashboard of the main screen on the ps5 what y'all boys are gonna do is head over to your settings from your settings you guys are gonna go to save data and game uh app settings and from here you want to hover over the first one which says ps5 then you're gonna go to this settings right here which is called upload or delete from the console storage now once you guys do get to this screen right here what you're going to do is simply select 2k and then hit upload all right hit upload and you will just hit yes on this message and it will upload your saved data to the uh the cloud storage and that's exactly what you guys want now i'm gonna just do it for y'all just to show you, you know what it does actually look like but i have already uploaded mine okay this is the first step that you guys do want to do all right boom it's going to take a couple seconds like not even that long what, what this is saying once you guys have uploaded that you're almost done what you want to do is simply back out of that uh make sure that you're still hovering over the save data for the ps5 then you're going to go down to sync uh save data right here and make sure that you guys do have this from enabled you want to turn this off to make sure that it is disabled just like so all right and now once you guys have you know disabled the sync data all you're going to do is go to upload or delete from console storage then this time instead of hovering over upload we're going to hover over delete all right now from here what you're going to do is select nba 2k25 and just delete it just like that once you guys have uploaded and deleted and turned off sync data all you're going to do is start up 2k25 and here's what you're going to do so once you guys do get on here it will uh just basically you want to just select any difficulty that does not matter uh you just want to go through this first little opening scene you know you can't skip this so you just have to play it all right it is only two minutes so you can just hold the ball you know you can do whatever uh when you are in here uh, when it does come to choosing your appearance it does not matter what you pick just pick any face bro it's gonna load you into this and uh yeah so basically what it's like you're just wiping everything clear from your game and starting out fresh all right but you i'm gonna show you guys how to get your save data back so don't worry about that at all but um once you guys do get in here like i said you cannot skip this so once you do get into the game just hold the ball if you want or you can just play it. it's very easy uh it is only two minutes so yeah once this is over i'll be right back Alright, now once the game is over, the only thing you guys want to do is simply just skip these cutscenes. Alright, skip through this until you get to the player builder screen, alright? So, uh, yeah, you can skip the rest of this stuff like I was just telling you. Alright, now once you guys finally do get to this screen right here, all you want to do is simply create your own build. Uh, the name, it really does not matter. You can put whatever you want right here. Uh, the handness does not matter. None of this doesn't matter, okay? Alright, now once you guys do get to here, the player that you're going to make is going to be a point guard. The height you're going to make it is 6'4". The wingspan you're going to give it is 6'4 as well, okay? What that is going to do is give you 99 shooting stats in every single category, and that's exactly what you guys want. Now, from here, what you're going to do is max out everything in the shooting off rip, okay? Once you have maxed out everything in the shooting, you then want to go down to the ball handling, max that out as well. And once you guys have maxed out the ball handling and the shooting, everything else can just be filled in randomly with whatever. It really does not matter, all right? Now, from here, what you want to do is simply just hit continue. And when you get to choose team, it really does not matter what team you go to. I'm going to just go to the Bulls. Now, from here, you can skip this cutscene. It's going to ask you where you guys do want to start out, and you just want to simply hit on the NBA. Once you've hit that, all you want to do is hit X once again. We'll hold X once again to skip that cutscene. All right, now, once you guys have made your player beer, what you're simply going to do is go over to your options. Go down to your settings and you're going to make sure that your game difficulty is on rookie. Your quarter length is going to be on five minutes. You also want to take off this camera shake and you want to take off the action replays. Put that on never as well, okay? Now, once you guys have done that, you want to back out of those settings. Go down to your controller settings and this time you're going to put shot time and profile from difficulty base. You're going to put this on real player uh, percentage. Make sure that your layup timing is on real player percentage as well. Once you guys have those settings, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to simply walk over to where it does say 
part of a dynasty and just click on it just like so and the game that you're going to be playing is this right here which is called against the wolf pack and you just want to simply load this up all right now once you guys do get into this game it's going to be very easy and simple what you're going to do you're just going to go to each wing do a little step back and just shoot the ball and the ball will go in just like that all right and uh you're just going to do that for the first half just continue to do that for the first half and you just want to be up by big now the only other thing you want to do on defense is just play defense uh, most of the time because it, the difficulty is on rookie they will miss the shot now He just made that because of a screen But uh, most of the time they will miss the shots because like I said the settings that we do have a plot But uh, once again on offense All you're gonna do is simply come to the wing do a little step back and shoot the ball and it will be absolutely money You don't have the time to jump shot because we have a real player percentage So it will go in most of the time and uh, yeah, like I was just saying that's all you guys want to do for the first half is just simply play defense uh, make sure that they make sure that they do you know the best that you can and just continuously shoot threes always make sure that you are shooting threes so you can be blowing them out by the second quarter and uh yeah that's exactly what i'm about to do and once i get done with that i'll be right back to you guys the next step All right, now as you guys can see, we are at the second half and you will absolutely dominate with these settings on. So the only thing you wanna do is just be up a ton, all right? Once you guys are up a ton by the second half, all you wanna do is simply hit start and go to ax out and send them to the end with VC. Now the only requirement is you must win by plus 15 to get the three star minimum, uh, the max, well, the three star max required on this challenge, which will be very easy to do. Now at this point, once you guys have done that, all you wanna do is simulate that cutscene. As you can see, I do have three stars right there. And that's exactly what you guys want. Now at this point, you just wanna hit X on this screen. And then it will take you back to the my core. And I'm gonna just show you guys my VC. So boom, I have 18.9K, all right? Now rememberize that. So we're gonna replay that game and still get a thousand VC. And this is how you guys are gonna do it. So once you guys have completed that game, all you wanna do is simply open up the um, the controller dashboard by hitting uh, the little PlayStation logo on your controller. Then from your uh, dashboard, you wanna go back into your sentence. Go back to save uh, data and game app settings. Go to PS5. Now from here, we're gonna go to upload and delete from console storage. Then we're gonna head over to delete. Once you guys do get here, the save data that is currently on your console, you're just gonna select 2K25 and then hit delete on it. It will say it will close the app out and just hit okay. And then it will be deleted. Now, the only thing you guys will have to do is simply load up on 2K. Once you guys do load up on 2K, you know, you will play that little two minute uh, prelude interlude to the, you know, my career, which is completely easy. Create the player, make sure that it does that 6-4 build that I showed you guys. And then you will just play the Dynasty game, apply the settings, the real player percentage, and, uh, you know, just dominate that game. Make sure that you guys do put it on rookie as well. Go up big and then just simulate. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. So you guys can just skip to the next chapter and I'm just going to show you the proof that it does stack. And all right, as you guys can see, boom, I got the thousand VC once again. Now, like I said, this is just how you get a thousand VC every single time, easily like like that, bro. That playing that game is very easy and simple. It's not hard to do. And as you guys can see, it will stack. All right. And now, once you guys are done, you know, getting your VC, and you, let's say you want to get your my player back, here is how you guys will do so. So what you will do is head back into your settings, go back down to save down in game app settings, and this time instead of going to upload, we're gonna go to download or delete to. Uh, cloud storage and this time we're going to go to download the console storage and we're going to select nba 2k25 and just download it and now once you guys have done that you've downloaded your save data back all you want to do is load up 2k all right now once you guys do load back up all you want to do is simply select my career and as you can see your original player and everything will be back all your settings and everything will be back and that's just how you get your player back and uh yeah that's pretty much all there is to it man i hope you guys did enjoy don't get trouble like on today's video don't get into that giveaway it's me your boy charles 2k i will catch you guys in the next one I'm out. Peace.